a show reel, I suppose, is a visual accompaniment um, for your for your work. It goes alongside your CV, so it's an example of a visual example of the work that you've done, and that could be any area in uh, film or TV. It could be as a cameraman, a DOP, an editor, a graphic graphic designer, um, even music composition, or, or, or an actor, even or writer. Um, so it's just something that goes alongside your CV um, to show off what you can do. I think on its own, I don't think a showreel will necessarily get you the job, um, but uh, I think the CV probably will tell you the more about what your experience is. But I think if you can put a, a, together a really good showreel alongside the CV, it shows uh, your, your competence basically, and it you know it kind of shows that you care as well because you know you you put the effort in to do this thing you know um, and present it. And it shows it also shows your presentation skills, which is very important in film and television. I think a showreel shouldn't be too long. Um, it should be, I would say the ideal length is about 90 seconds. Um, possibly you could possibly go up to two minutes, but you don't want it too long because people won't won't watch it. You know, you're you're grabbing someone's time. So it should have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, and that's very important in, um, in in television, whether you work in fiction or non-fiction. I think if I was doing an acting show reel, I would use uh, a mixture of visual, because that's such an important aspect of it. It's how you look uh, when you're casting someone, but also you want to hear hear their voice as well. So I would use, yeah, I would use snippets. I mean, the other, the other thing I would say, and this is goes for acting or for anything, is if you can show a good variety, that's, that's always good. And, you know, a variety of skills and a good scope, because, you know, you don't know who the, who's going to be looking at this show reel, or if, if it's something you're going to send out, to lots of different people, they're all going to be looking for very different things. So if you can show like a wide variety of skills, that also also helps. Another important aspect of being a show is to keep it uh, fresh. So keep it updated. Keep all your, you know, keep uh, when you do new work, add it, and uh, you know, and, and have the discipline to take away the stuff which probably you know is it can go now. Um, you know, quite often when people start doing their show reels, all, they, all they've got maybe is some is student things that they worked on. Um, and as you go on, you can maybe replace that with uh, other stuff that you've done. So always keep it updated so it's, you know, it doesn't look like it's uh, you know, five, six years out of date. You know? So um, if you're going to send around a CV, uh, a showreel as well, uh, make it an MP4. <laughs> it's quite an important thing. It needs to be something that's uh, a small file, but look, still looks high enough resolution so the pictures don't look rubbish. Um, and, but it's, uh, it can be seen on any computer. It's, 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 it sounds like a silly thing, but it's something some people start st sending things around in formats that people can't look at, and then that's it. Then it's, it's pointless. You know, the, the, what you don't want is someone emailing you back and I couldn't open up your showreel. So.